What's going on, y'all? Welcome to the channel. I want to take some time out and show you how to do something that's a real cool effect, and that is make a transition go longer or shorter in between two video clips. You ready? Here we go. <laughs> All right, y'all, this is real simple, real simple, quick stuff. So check this out. All you do, first of all, you gotta have video clips to get started. So let's go get these video clips. Come over here, grab a video clip, drop it in the timeline. Grab another video clip, drop it in the timeline. That's what we need. Gotta have something to work with. So let me get down here real quick to the end of this clip. And uh, it sounds like it's the end of this clip. The end of this clip. Oh, there it is. So anyway, we're at the end of this clip. So what we're gonna do is talk about the spaces in between. I'm gonna turn the volume down real quick for us. We're gonna talk about the spaces in between, which is where our transition would go. So right now, the way this clip works, it just jumps to the next clip, right? What we wanna do is put a transition in it, and I'm gonna just use cross blur real quick. You can use any one of them that you like for whatever the effect is you're trying to accomplish, but this is how you would do it. So you go in here, and now when we press play, it cross blurs over to the next clip. But what if you're thinking maybe you're doing some type of dream sequence or you got some music playing or something dramatic that you're doing and you want it to go longer. This is too short. Here's how you make it longer. Take your mouse and put it in between the two clips and double click. Once you do that, you're entering what's called the precision editor. Now, those of y'all don't realize, but I slow down and say that because I've tried to do this video multiple times and every time I try to say precision editor, it don't come out right. So when you get in here, you'll see that this piece, the cross blur is right here and the dark areas above and below show where the cross blur naturally is. But if you grab the end of the cross uh, blur and drag it out, you'll notice that it gets longer. Notice that it fades more here, fades more there. So now when we click off or exit out of this and go back to our main clip and press play, you'll notice that the cross blur now goes longer. Let's say it's not long enough. Let's go back in, grab it again, drag it out even further. Let's close the precision editor, press play, and now we're gonna watch it go longer. And that's how you go about making the cross blur make, uh, last a little bit longer. It's really, really simple, really, really nice effect. And you can do it with all of the transitions. Doesn't matter which one that you're working with. You can do it with all of them. So if you just, you know, maybe the flying box flip or the the the, the, the mosaic tile one, I, I don't know. But whichever one, you, there's something that you're working on and you want it to go a certain way, that's how you would go about doing that so that it lasts longer. It's the easiest way to do it. All right, now listen, if you're enjoying the videos, uh, make sure that you click like, share, subscribe. Make sure you leave me a comment down in the comment section. I need to start uh, uh, showing y'all these blooper reels because sometimes it's, it's, it's sad. It's, it's real sad. But anyway. If you like what we're doing, man, make sure you share uh, this with people and let people know what we're doing. I really appreciate the comments and all that kind of stuff. Come back and check out some more of our videos. I will see you next time on the next video. Peace. Oh, <laughs>